Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the divisibility rule for 8. Now when we're talking divisibility, that just means that we're checking to see if we can divide without getting a remainder, so the given numbers work out exactly. In the case of this video, we have four numbers that we're going to go through and see if they are divisible by 8 based on the rule at the top of the screen. So if the number formed by the last three digits is divisible by 8, then the original number is divisible by 8. So let's go through our examples and see what that rule means. For number 1, we have 342,024. So the last three digits are 0, 2, and 4. So we get a 24. That's the number that is formed. So if 24 is divisible by 8, that means the number 342,024 is divisible by 8. So can we do 24 divided by 8 and get an answer without a remainder? Yes, 24 divided by 8 is 3. So 24 is divisible by 8, therefore our original number is divisible by 8. So we get a yes for number 1. On to number 2, where we have 184,778. So our last um, three digits here are 778. So we need to see if that number is divisible by 8. I'm not sure off the top of my head, so let's go to the side here and do a quick division problem. So we can't do out of the 7, so we need to go to the 77. 77 divided by 8, um, that is going to give us 9 whole 8s. It gets us to 72. Subtract, we get 5. Bring down this 8. So 58, how many whole groups of um, 8 out of 58? Well, 7, that gets us to 56, and we get a remainder of 2. So 97 remainder 2. 778 is not divisible by 8, therefore our original number of 184,778 is not divisible by 8 either. So on to number 3, where we have 9,125,048. So our last three digits gives us a 48 there, and 48 is divisible by 8. 48 divided by 8 equals 6 without a remainder. Since those last three digits are divisible by 8, 9,125,048 is divisible by 8 as well. Now lastly, number 4, we have 7,091,544. So our last three digits here, 544. I'm not sure off the top of my head, so let's do a quick division problem. Off to the side here, and we'll start with 54 divided by 8. So how many whole groups of 8 out of 54? Well, 6, that's going to get us to 48. We'll subtract, and we get 6. Bring down our 4 here, and 64 and 8 are compatible. So 64 divided by 8 gives us an 8. 8 times 8, 64. And that shows that we do not have a remainder. So 544 is divisible by 8. Therefore, our original number of 7,091,544 is divisible by 8 as well. So there you have it. There's the divisibility rule for 8. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.